beautiful people. I'm Wraith. Welcome to another Big Apple 3 a.m. stream. Where it may be late, but the night is still young. How's it going, Mito? Hey, Dustin, what's up? You should play classic games or something else for the first 15 minutes, then go to Quarry. Hmm, do I have any classic games on Xbox? I actually do. Uh, what's up, Mito? Yeah, I just got a notification. Wow, my notifications work for some reason? <laughs> Uh, thanks for joining, dudes. Appreciate it. So, classic games. What classic games? Well, I do have this. Hmm. Let's see what I got here. Um, ooh, 15 gigs. I have this. How about this? So that's classic enough for you? How's everyone doing tonight? Me and Brianna love the Quarry game last, uh... Last name. Looks like I was watching. Oh, it got better. I, I gotta admit, I, I played like 20 minutes more when I ended the stream. And I was like so hooked on that game. I'm like, oh my god. And apparently, obviously, because the game is based on your decisions, so you have different paths that branch. So, I'm gonna do the opposite of what I've done now. I guess to get the full ending or different, I don't know. There, and there's like a series of games like this. So the first one is Until Dawn, which is for PS4 and PS5. I think there's a remake or remaster coming to PS5. Then there's The Quarry, and then there's like The Devil in Me, then there's like two or three other games for all systems. It, it's, I love those games. Yeah, it's like watching a movie, you're right. You're right. It, and the best thing is, if you're, that's, that's a good game to get your girlfriend into it. Now, I'm not saying great, but I'm just saying in general, because if your girlfriend or significant other doesn't like video games or doesn't really like, oh, I don't really play video games or, you know, it's too complicated for me. I'm like, those games are perfect because they can either watch or play, but you don't play normally. Like you don't jump or this and that, like platforming is just like, press this button to, to, to dodge. And that's it. It's like quick time events. It's perfect for them. Hey, Bree, what's up? I do have South Park right now. Yes, it is. Last game. Yeah, the quarry. Yeah. I'll play quick uh, five, ten minutes of this and then I'll get to the quarry. I'm at the part where Emma got killed by the monster. Okay. Yeah. I, I passed that, actually. I have until dawn, but game has never finished it. Finish it, dude. Finish it. Why not? Play it together. I like the quarry, it's like watching movies, right? Right? It's really, really well done. I like, I like that. I, I never expected it to be that good. But, well, here we are. <laughs> How's everyone's day going? Graf yeah, that, honestly, the quarry games, um, that's when I think... When people say, oh, PlayStation 5 and play, you know, Xbox Series X and graphics, and, and then I see games and it's like, mm -hmm. I watch Halo and I'm like, it's, it's all right, you know. Oh, God of War is pretty good, but nothing spectacular. But the quarry is, damn, those are really excellent graphics. Really. I'm like, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. And I like that. That's, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to see your system that you paid money for to push the boundaries of graphics. You know what's the best graphical showcase this generation? Not even a full game. The Matrix uh, Resurrection or something? That demo? Did you guys play that demo? I'm starving. What's a good idea? Snack you can choose. Nachos. Nachos. Just get some Tostitos. Get some cheese. Put on that mofo. And boom. My girl played Resident Evil new one. She loved it. And this guy chases her like Granny. 
but he two bullets? Resident is that Resident Evil 2? With um Mr. X? We recommend rather. Nachos. <laughs> Immune. Okay. Nachos. Or grilled cheese. I love the simplicity of 8-bit graphics. Gadget. Apparently there's a cult in Russia that worships gadgets. <laughs> For some reason. I have no idea. I'm not even lying. It's it's one of those things you find it on the internet and it's just... Why does this exist? I, I don't know. Bree, by the way, uh, how is the, the new video going along? I want to see more of uh, your content. And you guys gotta go to New York and, and go crazy with the haunted stuff. Oh, come on, Zipper, shut up. Biohazard, yes. Biohazard. Yes, I get it. Oh my god. Can I just fast forward? Yes, uh, thank you. burger today. Oh. The diner where I have the, my burger? So good. So good. I made homemade meatball marinara subs early. Get the fuck out of here. Post up. Po yeah, just take pics. Please post them on uh, Coney Island. Please. Please, 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 please. I want to see that. Homemade meatball marinara. Oh, I always wanted to try that. Do you have a recipe? Just like Stuart Little, the game. Kind of. I've never played part two. I played part one a long time ago. I used to run part one a lot. Along, uh, along with DuckTales back in the day. Oh! You have heard of the uh, solar eclipse April 8th? Warning us to stock on... No? Well, what, 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 what's going on with that? It's a fucking... Uh, it's a fucking good wish. Dude, come on, please tell me you, made, you, take, you took pictures, please. Oh no. As a matter of fact, not even I can do that, but okay. Today I'm making Hawaiian bread with hole in the middle marinara and meatball in the middle, shredded cheese on top. Wow, that sounds good. The National Guard is supposed to be around major cities, warning us to prep up on meats and food and water. And food. Yeah, but wait, wait, I don't understand. What's going to happen? What, like an energy shortage? Uh, there's going to be riots? I need to know, especially where I live. Bullshit again.
By the way, the Rescue Rangers movie that came out like two years ago was very good. It was very funny. Power grid could shut down. Oh man. And they're, and they're advising every major city to stock up. Thanks, Monterey Jack. YouTube about it. Uh, it's an historical event. They said my mom in South Carolina. Do they count as a major city? So I can't let. Uh, so I can let her know. Just take precaution, you guys. Seriously, I play this game and I rewind it like a hundred times. <laughs> I know. Don't want to. Don't want to die. You know. I just want to kill this dude so I can play the glory. Oh. There you go. Oh, look at that. Done. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, let's go to the quarry. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling to play that. Here we go. So the last thing i i went through was one of them turned into the those uh creatures and then we met the one of the girls that was missing earlier on in the game and what else uh, and the other dude is still naked somewhere i don't know in the woods <laughs> the south park i will play it for the first time later today i have it right next i have it right now though sweet dude so, so snow day you talking about right but what else did, are they saying, Dustin, besides the power grid? For sure, April 6th. Nice. Chapter 7, here we go. By the way, how's the sound? How's the, the visuals? How's everything? So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come one night early. That was our mistake. Okay. <laughs> this really needs to be a series.
All I've been on is the title screen. I liked it from the aspect, but other than that, I haven't started the game yet. Gotcha. Here's the biblical version of what's going to happen on the day. Won't let me send the link in the chat. Uh, we made this subs Wait, right now to show you right there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank shut you. Up. Put those pictures on uh, Coney up. Island, please. This is an interrogation. Just... I asked it does let you uh, forget the link. Uh, just copy and paste the, the the text. Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with, and what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. I give what this fucking dark shit, hold on. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Yeah, it looks much better, right? I'm gonna buy this game once I beat Final Fantasy VII. Fine. How how far? Oh yeah, you said you're at a uh, canyon, right? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh bullshit! Counselors aren't due until today. I told you we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and. We're broke. Mm -hmm. North Kill. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Oh. Do you understand? I like that line. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Right now! He's like, no. What? Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Fuck. So how's the weather where everyone's at? Weather's well, kind of cool here. Cool, kind of cool. Max. But it is getting warmer. Are you okay? This yeah. is my first time playing, yes. I mean, I'm... 
I'm kind of all mixed I've up. I've been meaning to play this, but I just, you know, more didn't get a chance to, and then this is on Game Pass for free, so why not, right? Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood, and... He's not super Stop. naked. He has his shorts Everywhere. on. That's not naked. That's I mean, half the naked. Happened? It's 39 degrees. Okay. Very windy today. I like windy. I love windy I feel weather. Like I remember bits and pieces, Around 70 degrees right now. None it's of not it makes bad. any sense. Yeah, same. I feel like were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? The sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max. What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Uh-oh. No, that's naked with uh, the D because he's not fully naked. Nake? <laughs> Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not going to be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Then why'd you put them in cells next to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> Yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. I like the sound of handcuffs. Just not when it's put on me. Hey, what's up, Chaos? How's it going? Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. What's Get up? the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. <laughs> Some of these uh, people really are uh, actors. Hey. McCully Culkin. Stop struggling. McCully Culkin, the kid from Home Alone. Life is. Yes, uh. Leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of yeah, you his wife, Brenda, up. Brenda Fuck something. I said, shut she's up. very, she's very pretty. I think she's hey. the Asian one. Hey, you can't treat us like this. You're hurting You should be nice to the cop. It pays off later. Well, I tried to. He's still being a dick to me. Okay. Think, Laura. Think. I take it you beat this before chaos. You want to put the other games? While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. This doesn't paint a particular favorable picture of Sheriff Hackett, and perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. Hmm. To dig. What's this? Don't look in the toilet. I wouldn't. Yeah, I noticed on here last night. You should. Uh, da, da. Not a chance. Need some sort of lever. No, I saw others uh, play. Play and saw play through where everyone survives. Gotcha. So if everyone survives, that's like the the best uh, rating, I guess. He is protecting you from the people out there. I know that, but it's just you never know a horror movie. Sometimes the sheriff's in on it. 
Sometimes they're not. The world. Out of the world. Often travelers' paths are direct, but sometimes it is not so simple. Sometimes they're intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. You'll need friends where you're going. It is not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. That's true. That is true. Okay. Get that spoon. <laughs> that could work. There you go. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. You gonna fit through there or what? What's up, Prime Time? How are you? I sent us uh, sent you the video of the Twitter about April. Thank you so much, Dustin. Appreciate that. I'm definitely gonna look into that tomorrow. Gonna be pretty busy this week. Um, I may stream Wednesday. May not. I'm not sure. But I'll stream you tomorrow. More South Park in very early. I'm gonna try earlier. Maybe six o'clock as opposed to eight. And then it, man. another uh, Big Apple 3M. Give me a break. At night. Dustin, do you have a, a prepped area, I should say? The second we get out of here, you're uh, you know, like over. stock. You have canned foods, sure. ammo, all that stuff. Just prep, prep. Are you a prepper, basically? My friend is, the one who lives in Texas. Wait, wait, well... Answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave You're a prepper? Here. Nice. Hey! Hell yeah, we do. Cool. Go back! I want to do that when I get my house. Oh, I'm going to... Dude, when I get my house, I'm gonna I'm just gonna get a house. I'm gonna have property. When I have my property, I'm gonna fucking set up traps. I'm gonna do a lot of shit in my property. I'm gonna build my own gate. Fuck fuck having it. I'm going to build my own gate. It's gonna look like a fucking fortress. Trust me. Me and my uh, future wife, <laughs> if I ever have one, and my uh, kids are gonna be very safe. Cameras, um, analog cameras, by the way, the works, all of that shit. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade cab. <laughs> really, though? What happened? He, uh, he just asked a lot of questions. Like a lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we're going. I have so much canned food and cases of water bottles. This morning Sweet. And Do you have a filtration system? I don't know. Lasers too. Nothing I Maybe said lasers. made him seem any less annoyed. We got like twenty-three total to packs of water feeling? bottles. Yeah. Comes in a forty-two uh, well, pack. Okay. You? No. Huh. You need your own filtration system. Really? Trust me. Filtration system. Um. Radar, yeah, radar. I said radar. Uh, night vision goggles. Do you have night vision goggles? I have night vision goggles. It's fucking cool. It's cool as shit. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It? It's, it's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Where we set up? 
Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's. I mean. What? Uh, I need a gun, most importantly. You don't have a gun? Surprisingly, I do. It's an obsession. The night vision goggles. Oh, gotcha. Uh. In case power grid shuts down. Right. But you also need a. Um, night vision goggles because you never know at night there's something might happen two two pairs of course for you you and the wife and uh, actually three just in case one of them breaks or gets lost or whatever um, uh, let's see well I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper but He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? Because he used I'm to be one. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I would get protein I bars, too. Make sense of it. Um, what? Because you, you won't get well, enough protein for those, for those canned foods sometimes. sometimes things so you really do need... What protein then? bars that'll last you a, a long while. Do you have back, chickens? Do you have your own chickens too? You have your own eggs? I like that. I want to get. I want to do that. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? Get high? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. You didn't answer his question. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. So what? It's fucking college. You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Well, don't attack him like it's his, it's his fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. There you go. Silver lining. Look at that. I'm sorry. Yesterday, you're bumming up about. I shouldn't have kept it from you. About not not being accepted into college, and now. You no, know you can talk to me about anything, right? You're in jail. Yeah. <laughs> against your will. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home. Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... Dirty cop. I, mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's, like, nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it, hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody oh, there. Of course, he's keeping them in his cell. Something. To keep them safe. And of course, if they're and bitten, the they won't affect, infect anyone else. That but they don't know that. That for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like 
wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like person sized big. Yeah, it really did a number like on a me. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like 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 I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. Oh my god. What if? Uh. Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your. What? Goddamn mine? <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas. Time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Dylan, I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? I hate this people like, like that. We're, we're in a situation where, like, they don't understand it, can't explain those it. Are, those are just and they seeing something horrifying, like it's like, well, it can't be real. It's like, for okay. For all of this. I don't know how they got where the so position separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told They're in. me to. And if it's bite with Well, which when you play the game you'll find out. <laughs> torso with great taste. What? You did the right thing. See? She got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care, but I think you should hear all of it. Okay. How did you get caught in jail? So I know what not to push. <laughs> uh, I think, I don't know. That's... The next few weeks were long. Hold on. Weeks? The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. They were there for weeks? Oh, right, they were supposed to be there before. And now this is the end of camp. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. We're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so... You know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just, just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. 
We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. Mm -hmm. What then? French and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Hey, mimosas are good. Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. I just ate three of them subs. Holy right, shit, I'm just stuck. Then don't, 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 don't rub us. it in my face, dude. <laughs> Hold I'm on, gonna, let me check uh, Discord. Let's see, let's see here. I don't see anything posted. Hmm. I want pictures of the damn subs. <laughs> she sent it out to your Twitter. Oh, we don't know how to use. Oh, Discord is, is simple. Discord is very simple. I gotta show it to you one day. Okay, it's on Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. I still I get no notification on Twitter though. Sorry, I'm just reading something, uh, that girl I like, um, she's writing, she wrote, she wrote something on Twitter regarding someone trying to bash her, like, bash her, like, by social media. Sorry. Was that you? That that's you messaging me? Damn, that was good. Meatball subs. Mm. What do you what, Bree, what do you use uh for the meat? But I don't see any notifications on Twitter though. Nothing. No private messaging or nothing. Wow, the bridge in Maryland collapsed after a ship hit it. That's crazy. Oh, good news, Zendaya is coming back for Spider-Man 4. Yay. Anyways, um... <laughs> I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Okay, let me... Let me... Hold on a second. Let me sign into... So... All right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us? Let me sign into the chat because I have to... Oscar, you're awesome, dude. Thank you so much for doing that. Psh, Oscar, that's why I made him fucking mod. That, psh, fucking Oscar, the man. Oscar, you get a song. <laughs> Just for that, you get a song, dude. You read my mind. How you doing, Oscar? OP in the house? I don't know. He's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! 
T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I'll be more annoyed I not said, at the fact that werewolves after me. Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go. Did the link work, uh, Bree and You're not gonna believe it. And Dustin. Until you see it for yourself. Let's just fucking ask next time, then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm -hmm. No, it says expired. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. Okay, let me try my, my way. Hold on. Expired? I don't understand why, why it does that, but okay. So, Brie, what do you use in the, for the meatballs? Do you use um, pork? Do you use beef? I, I want to know. Send me the recipe. And what kind of sauce? Marinara sauce? You know what I mean? What do you put in it? You put a garlic, you put onions, olive oil, you simmer it for a while. I'm uh, very curious. All right, let's see here. Uh, here's my thing. Invite people. Copy. Cool. Uh, you have a question? Go ahead, Chaos, okay, shoot. Try this one. Try this one. That's my Discord. And if you want to post... They were good too, like 10 out of 10. Dang, dude, stop making me fucking hungry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Bree, there's Bree. Oh you, oh, you were out for some reason. And then you, you, now you're back in. Okay, now you're back in. Now, Bree, now that you're in, there you go. There you go, perfect. Now you know how to use Discord. Oh man, that looks good. <sighs> Actually, the only thing is that I, I like a little bit more sauce, just a little bit more. But other than that, it looks. Oh my god, it looks so good. Hold on, I, I need I need a good uh, I need a good response for this. Need a good response for this. 
Um, let's see here. Mm. There you go. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Oscar. Appreciate that. Why do all your streams say Big Apple 3 a.m.? Because that's my that's my stream name. You really don't you, you don't you don't get that? Who here understands why? Who under, who here understands why I name it three Big Apple 3 a.m.? What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you, it's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. I guess she got too close because in the future she has marks on her on her eye. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. You all right? Hi. Actually, it's from Turtles in Time. That's the first level in Turtles in Time. Big Apple, 3 a.m. New York, we both from New York, ironically, and that's why. That's one of the reasons why. Because you start at 3 a.m. and you live in New York. Yes, that's two reasons. It's beef meatballs and add Italian seasoning and garlic and onion and the sauce. It's roasted garlic, herb, and I use mozzarella cheese and grated parm. Oh, man. So, I heard meatballs, like Italian meatballs, have beef and some pork in it. I'm going to try to use that. I want to try. I have to try to make my own meatballs, man. I need... And, and breadcrumbs inside, too. Literally, level and stretch revenge... Uh, because no, Shredder's Revenge is Big Apple 3 p.m., which is an offshoot of the original Big Apple 3 a.m. You never played Turtles in Time Chaos? I didn't use onions in my meatball sub, not gonna lie, but other than that, it sounds good, y'all. Onions, I'm good with onions either way. So, the reason why it's called Big Apple, obviously, because I'm from New York, I stream around that time, or it's at night, right? Either way, at night, 3 a.m., my time, whatever. Um, it's from the Turtles game, which I love Ninja Turtles. And then it's a video game reference. Everyone who plays video games knows that reference. So if I say Big Apple 3 a.m., like, isn't that from Turtles? Yeah, there you go. So that's four things it represents. My love for Turtles, my love for video games. I'm from New York, and I stream at night. That's it. And it makes perfect sense because the, the first name I had for my streams was Saturday Night Game Night or something like that, Game Time whatever it's like it does it doesn't have the right fucking feel to it you know what i mean but with big apple 3 a.m that's it's it's perfect it's just perfect i'm like what what should i name this and i was playing turtles i'm like oh my god that's it <laughs> i hope no one else has that because that this should be my fucking that that's my name if you know anyone else has that name that's that's not me no never heard of it until now really do i have to play turtles in time do you want? Do you guys want me to play Turtles in Time? Turtles in Time Super Nintendo. Yes, I was just curious about it. No, I'm not mad or anything. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, I, I thought you knew about Turtles in Time. That's one of my favorite games. Oh, also, fifth one. It's also one of my favorite video games of all time. My favorite turtle game too. I love TMNT too, man. My collection of them are stacked. Yeah, I saw. Oh, I saw your collection, dude. I saw your collection. If anyone's interested in Dustin's collection, go to the museum portion of my Discord. And, uh, yeah. He has one... He, his room is just full of fucking awesomeness. I need I, When I have my house... Oh, you're going to see a fucking collection when, you see, when I get my own place. Yes, we do. Play it. Play it? Okay, show me. Okay, I will. Okay. Uh, let me go to the main menu. 
Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll keep it like this. Hold on. Hold on one second. Why switch to switch? Right on back. Here we go. I like the Ninja Turtles. Uh, I have grew up watching them along with uh, Power Rangers. But you've never, you never played Turtles in time. Are you serious? What's up, Coral? How are you? How are things in New Zealand? How think? How are you, man? How are you, sir? Um, I have all the old live action Ninja Turtles movies on VHS. Oh, sweet! I need one on uh, VHS. You're good. That's that's good to know. No, unfortunately. Okay. Have you heard of this game? So you have the original Turtles Arcade. Turtles in Time, the arcade. Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo. Tournament Fighters for Super Nintendo. Hyperstone Heist for Genesis. Tournament Fighters for Genesis. TMNT 1 for NES. TMNT 2, the arcade game for NES. TMNT 3, Man the Manhattan Project for NES. Tournament Fighters for NES. TMNT for Game Boy. TMNT 2, Back from the Sewers, Game Boy. And TMNT 3, Radical Rescue for Game Boy. Anyways, so this is what I'm talking about. That's my phone. <laughs> oh, you were born 94. Okay. Gotcha. I understand now. So this game came out like two, three years before you were born, so... Oh, I love that, Dustin. That's so awesome. That's so cool, man. I love that banner. Anyways, here, look, look, look. 
See? That's where I got my name. Oh, the channel name. The stream name. <laughs> Damn, the rumble in this game in this game is crazy. My I don't know if you can hear it, my controller is like rumbling like like a madman. That's it right there. <laughs> Cowboy Collection is one of the best games collections on one card of all time. Oscar is 100% correct, sir. You can't go wrong with that collection. And it's, it's like, what, 20 bucks now? Psst. You're more than getting your money's worth. I actually have Turtles in Time for NES. I do want the box and the manual, though. That's going to it's gonna be pricey. But I can get a replica box. I, don't, I really don't care about authentic boxes because they're so pricey. But authentic... I mean, but replica boxes, pretty much the same. Looks almost exactly the same. Nice, Carl. Bye bye. I send you another one of my Discord. I have a lot more. Look at all them games. Wow, 360. I need a 360. You know why? Because there are a lot of um, there are a lot of uh, Xbox games I want to get, but you can you can you can only play them on 360 or the original Xbox. So now I have to get a 360. Ah, uh, the giant turtles. Are those are those the reissue turtles or are those the original ones? That Krang is awesome. Yeah, I love the reissue turtles. I'm so glad they did that. The movie ones. I need to get the movie ones. They're so cool. <laughs> Pizza dudes got 30 seconds. Awesome video, dude. Awesome. Thank you so much for for showing me that. Oh. So Chaos, what do you think of the game so far?
Oh. Wait, I forgot. You have the techno drum, right? Sorry, I have short term memory. A lot of reissues, and I got the statue. Uh, one for scale turtles. Those are my most expensive ones. Okay. But those are the original ones, I assume, right? Because I got the reissued ones. All I need is Raphael, though. ramen again hopefully this week i'm obsessed with that ramen <laughs> so is there a holy grail you're looking for dustin i mean i do have spare figures i don't know if you interested someone might get them if they uh they go to a certain convention this october <laughs> i still have to give oscar his metal head Don't think I forget about that, Oscar. I still have to give you Metalhead. I don't think... I don't recall... Metalhead ever saying green slime balls. Maybe terminate the turtles. This is supposed to be like the Terminator, though. Or Mecha Godzilla. The pizza was right there. You bum. I really don't have a holy grail. Jay uh, wanting me to go to the one in May. I really want to go to the October one, which was a. I would love for me and Bree to meet you guys. It's obviously up to you guys. Jay said he'll comp. Uh, not comp, but he'll like. Uh, you know, you guys have a party or something. You and, and, and Tim, whatever. That sounds like a good 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 time um hold on i love that song um but the one in october that's the main one he said now there's there, there might there there's a good chance after on friday night or saturday night we're gonna have an after party which jay will be there and he's we all, we all hang out we did that last last year but if you go to the october one guarantee you the majority of the people you see in a chat, me, Ashley, Oscar, A Styles, Squigs, are going to be there. I think, and maybe uh, Falcro, right? And Abby. So for the Houston one, I think, uh, I, I think, Fal yeah, Falco's from Houston, so he's, uh, he's going to be there. That would be awesome. Right. And trust me, uh, there's a picture on the Discord, right? I think it's um let me see. If you go on a Discord, let me see. Hold on. Is it Broadway? Where did I fucking put that? The Retropalooza one. Cause I posted pictures of Retropalooza. I just forgot which channel it was. Hmm. Okay, oh wow, that's uh, Miss Ashley's photos. If you look at that one. And then there's. Wait. 
Yeah. So go 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 to Central Park. Scroll all the way up to like um, September twentieth of last year. You're gonna see Ashley's photos, and then scroll up a little bit more. You see mine, and you see a, you're gonna see a picture of me uh, of the one I took. It, the back of Ashley's head, and you're gonna see on the right Melvor, and then you see Tim, and you see Jay right there in one picture. But there was another picture of us, though. I forgot where was it, though. Hmm. So that one, we definitely hung out. Uh, he will send her off. Bree doesn't like how Jay says she will send her off with Tim's wife and had just have me and Tim there. Maybe I could do that to to her like that. <laughs> what folder? Uh, Central Park. Go to Central Park and then scroll up to last year. Central Park is the channel. I really gotta uh, do a better job in doing the explanations for the channels when you when someone joins the. the the Discord. So Central Park is basically your hobbies or your activities. What do you like to do? Do you like to travel? Do you like to paint? Do you like to make music? Whatever. You post that in Central Park, right? But it's mostly people who travel like, hey, I went here. I did this. I did that, right? Melinda has awesome. Melinda and Raz have awesome photos of New Zealand. So you can post that. Um, that whole thing. So it's, it's different, obviously, different channels to different hobbies and topics so you already know the hook and ladder is the one about supernatural and paranormal stuff right the museum is basically stuff you have you know like i have all these games i have whatever toys this and that and uh what do you want to collect like I'll, i want to collect this and that right uh rockefeller center is about video games so if you want to post you know your accomplishments here this and that I, this is a trailer for a new game i'm playing this game blah blah blah, blah. look at my score at this blah 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 broadway is for like Mo uh, main memes, trailers, videos you want people to see, whatever. Times Square is just general chat. It's just like whatever you want to talk about. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, actually, it kind of does, but uh, something serious, like a very serious chat, like, hey, listen, how do you, how do you guys cope with losing uh, a loved one, blah, blah, blah. You go to one uh, WTC. Brooklyn Bridge is basically a communication hub, so you can put your friend code there or Xbox, PSN name there. Just do that. Yeah, anyways. Coney Island is, of course, food. Wall Street is for... If you guys want to talk about money or selling... If you want, you guys want to sell something, you guys want, or shouldn't buy anything, like, hey, I'm looking for this. Does anybody have it? Or trade for something? You talk to someone... Uh, in that channel. My toe, my toe. <laughs> I love that. Do you have those figures, uh, Dustin? The, the pizza monsters I have one I want to get more I want to make like a little army of them so I need maybe like three more Turtles in Time is way better than um, Hyperstone Heist way better saw Central Park vid uh, from Ms. Ashley what? How long is your hair right now? It looks badass. Thanks. Wait, you see a picture of me there? Hold on. Which, which, where are you seeing the picture of me? By the way, I agree. You know, you don't want to send your wife out like that, you know, because you two, you know, you're together. You don't want to, you know, be like, nah, I want to have fun with my wife. I understand that. Um, oh, stupid me. Wrong button, wrong button. Let me scroll up, scroll up. Ashley has a picture of, uh, let me see. 
that's that's Eric right there. <laughs> that's Tyler from Retro. Oh, this for Falco singing with uh, OK Chief. Billy Ray Cyrus with Fritos. Uh, she's funny with that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, she had a vo oh she had a video of uh, Squigs. Okay. Porn. Yeah, we went to Squigs. Took us to where uh, Dimebag Daryl was buried. Oh, there I am. I'm there for like a second in that video, like at the very end. If you see me, hold on. Ah, oh, come on. There I am. Hey, handsome dude. Anyways. <laughs> Let's see what else. So yeah, if you look at my photos, the first one is the is I was in a truck where, where Squakes took me, took us. We just picked up Miss Ashley, so we're just driving. I saw the sunset. Uh, Jason Voorhees sneakers, awesome. There's the floor plan, floor plan, oh uh, floor plan. Uh, basically the floor of Retro Palooza, the arcade we went to for the um, after party. Uh, we're at the bar. N you saw that Ninja Turtles pinball? Hey, what's up, words? How's it going? Did you see that Ninja Turtles pinball I, p I posted? Go, uh, saw the stream earlier. Thank you, words. I appreciate that. Go to, go to the uh, Central Park again. Scroll up to my pictures. You're going to see a picture of uh, Ninja Turtles pinball. I'm sure that's something you want in your, in your, in your house, dude. Because I want that. That looks so awesome. Free plays where we went to. And uh, where else? Wow, that's a lot of Genesis games. Falcro, Don't make that all stuff. Uh, what else? That's us leaving. That's me leaving. That's New York. That's the airport I was in. LaGuardia. I got a question. What kind of pizza is the turtle's favorite? Any kind of pizza is the turtle's favorite. There you go, he's dead. <laughs> what's, the question is, what's your favorite pizza? What is everyone's favorite pizza topping? Mine would be extra cheese, mushrooms, bacon, and pepperoni. Oh, and uh, one other thing, Dustin, my hair is considerably longer than that now. But I definitely need a haircut. I absolutely need a haircut. I, I can't stand, because I'm getting tangles. Does, hey Bree, do you know how to take out how to remove tangles from from the bottom of your hair? Like I have tangles like showing up at the bottom of my hair. I hate that so much. Pepperoni and cheese. I don't like mushrooms. You don't like mushrooms? Hmm. Why don't you like mushrooms? Is it the fact because it's it's fungus? They taste good. You know what? You know what I'm getting tomorrow? Pizza with fucking mushrooms. That's what I'm getting tomorrow. And I'm going to put it in uh, Coney Island. You're going to see that. Again? Wow.
You might get to, you might get a detangler spray to put your hair after you wash it, and it will help. I'll have to do it with uh, my son's hair. They look like ears. What do you mean they look like ears? Oh, they look like the mushrooms. Must have been Team Media shell pizza with mushrooms on it. That's true. Dude, don't cut it, freaking badass. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna ask Bree this question. Bree, do do women like men with long hair? Like th my hair, you know how how my how long my hair is. Think of Antonio Banderas in Desperado. You have you seen that movie? It looks just like that. It's it's long like that now, and it looks. And when he puts in a ponytail, it looks exactly like that. Too bad I don't look like Antonio Banderas. <laughs> I'm looking for a man they call El Lucho. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the mushrooms. <laughs> I haven't seen. You haven't seen that movie. Oh, do you like Pulp Fiction? Or from dusk till dawn. Oh, by the way, um, we used to have movie nights in my, my Discord. Uh, I'm trying to do that again. So I'm trying to pick a day, maybe Thursday or Friday, like at like at 11 or something. So if you guys are interested in having a movie night, we can all go on the Discord and watch a movie. And then afterwards, we can just uh, talk or just watch uh, Jay's Discord or something. But yeah, it's up to you guys. I can't believe you haven't seen Desperado. I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. I like shorter hair on my hubby. I like enough to run my fingers through, but not too long. Okay, so kind of like, uh... hmm, like the top can be a little long, but not too long, right? I get off at work at 11. I'm off on Sundays and Mondays. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Doshi, what's up, dude? Okay. Do you think do you think long hair on men looks looks too effeminate or is it like is is there like a, a limit? Like obviously too not too long like it's up to like the guy's like waist or anything like that. But something like um like I said Desperado's the perfect it, that's like the perfect that that's my hair right now. <laughs> like Eric's hair grosses me out. Is it the beard or is or is it his hair? Or is it both? Because my hair... First of all, here's one thing you got to know about me. I take care of my fucking self. You think I'm, you think I'm some dude... Not, not I'm saying you think that way, but just know that I'm not some dude that just uses zest soap and that's it. I go crazy. Not crazy, but like I buy all natural soaps. I don't use any detergents, heavy detergents on my skin for anything. I, I use a, a Japanese towel scrub for my body. So it exfoliates my skin. My hair, I buy a $35 shampoo with, like, no carcinogens, no none of that bad stuff. All natural oil, argan oil, and all that stuff. My, my conditioner is also good. It's, like, no sulfates, no parabens, nothing. It's like, it leaves my hair silky smooth. Like, I take care of my hair. So it does not look like uh, – I don't look like a hobo <laughs> with my hair. Oh, my God, I'm playing universe mode and – let the PC stupid thing play and Will Osprey won money in the bank and now he cashed in and won the championship of Roman. Shit. That's if if Osprey was in WWE, that's exactly what's gonna happen, Doge. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Eric just grosses me out. He looks dirty. That's the, okay, that's the thing I get. Um yeah, that guy's hair in the movie is probably the limit. Mm, what movie? The Desperado? 
just just look just go to YouTube and look up Desperado scene and then Antonio Banderas Desperado and that that's that's how my hair is now but I'm I'm gonna cut it a little shorter Desper okay good yeah that's how my hair is now. same and looks the same too in the ponytail so now but the thing is with, with Eric all due respect he's a handsome dude he is but he has to ha he has to maintain his hair if you look like you sleep under a bridge it's not a good look man. You know what I mean? Yeah, universe mode is like my GM, but control the whole roster and cutscenes set up feuds easier to play. Sweet. Damn, I gotta get on 2K24. It's been a while. Oh, gee, thanks. And that's the general consensus. Like, you can have long hair or short hair, but women do not like it when you look dirty. And that's funny, because I don't like when women look dirty. Because we... Because you guys met, you guys saying about going to Retro Palooza, right? So when I, well, let's just say whatever happens in Retro Palooza stays in Retro Palooza. But there was a conversation that came up where Jay was asking, "What's a turnoff for you, right? What 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 kind of girls don't you like, right?" And when it was my turn, I went, "I don't like girls that look dirty. I don't, and I don't mean girls who are mechanics." A girl who work in the forest and they look sweaty. No, that's fine with me. I'm talking about like if you're playing World of Warcraft for like two months straight and you didn't fucking shower. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm bougie. I'm just bougie. There you go. That's 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 <laughs> that's my, my response. I'm bougie. And I get it. And that's what makes a woman sexy to me. Like the fact that w women keep, like, w women from head to toe, they, they keep, they, they get their shit together, man. They, they, they shampoo and moisturizer. They, they use scrubs and all that stuff. I'm like, that's cool. I like that. Some of that stuff. I don't use too much of that, but. Also, you see my you see my picture, so I don't I have some facial hair, but I never I don't want to grow it too too much. Oh, oh, come on. There you go. serious there this, this can't be uneasy this is fucking hard his hair just looks greasy yeah I don't like greasy hair right when you said Eric is a handsome dude Bree said no <laughs> Well, to me, he's, he's pretty. He's pretty handsome. You know. You know. Obviously, I'm, I'm hetero. I'm, I'm. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I'm, I. I can say this guy's handsome and this guy's ugly. Whatever. He, he. I'm not saying he's Henry Cavill. I'm just saying, like, if he cleans up, yeah. He. 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 he can get a date. Me. I. I. Here's the thing with me. I love to dress up. I, I have two modes. I like regular jeans and shirt. I look like a biker or like a goth dude not goth goth but like metal goth whatever or i i dress up snazz, I like dressing up like uh, like i'm in oceans 11 i love that but it's so much upkeep with that like you have to iron this and make sure your shirt's like this and this and that you know it's like it's 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 a work but it for me it's worth it but the thing is where i live I don't want to look like I'm, I'm rich, put it that way. You know what I mean? The more you look like a bum or the more like you don't give a shit, the more people leave you alone. And I, in this place, I need to be left alone. Did you see Raw tonight? The Rock beat the shit in the parking lot and it made him bleed and dropped F-bombs and was definitely not PG. It was maybe one of the best endings in a decade. That's what people say, like, oh, Attitude Era's back. I'm like, well, that's a start. Maybe, maybe it is back. We'll, we'll see. We'll see.
Yeah, I love Dustin's beard. It's not long. It's well. Yeah, a beard is fun as long as you maintain it. But if it looks like, if it's all, it looks like a bird's nest, kind of. No, it's not good. Okay, Bree, how about this? What, what are what are five things? Not necessarily about Dustin, but just men in general that you that you would find attractive. Like, oh, I like when a man has a like you said, good facial hair or like. Well kept Asia. What else? What about cologne? What about um, I don't know? Is he, what about uh, like an expensive watch or something like that? My friend is all about that. He 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 bought like a Movado watch like not too long ago. I'm like, damn, dude. He's like, yeah, I paid like fifteen hundred for that. I'm like, fuck that, dude. And it's not even waterproof. <laughs> no, 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 no. If I'm spending a lot of money on a watch, it better have like so many things for it. It better be like waterproof. It better. Tell me the time on fucking Mars and all that shit. <laughs> oh, Slash is gonna be a bitch in this one. I know it. I know it. I picture Wraith looks like Eric from the Crow. <laughs> uh, with my hair? Yeah, it kind of does look like that, Coach. I bet it's hard to pass Attitude Era, but in this new era is up there. I think it is the Reality Era since it feels more reality based or Triple H Era. More like it, you can't go back to the Attitude Era. Wow, I had a sudden sudden craving for pizza now. You can't go back to the Attitude Era because it's 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 like going back to the '80s. Like you, it's, it's it is what it is. But if they can do like a new era where it's similar but having their own tone, it it, it could be successful. It could be. I would love to know that from her too, Wraith. Please, Bree, do tell. Yes, please. Dang, Bree put on a spot. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's how it is in my chat. <laughs> Respectfully, though. Also, I love how Drew said punk is straight edge. He doesn't drink, do drugs, but spends most of his time in weed. <laughs> that's funny. Fucking punk. She could have pulled a Seinfeld and say, like George Costanza, it's not all about looks anyways, you know. Oh, yeah. When he, when he, when he dated that girl, I was like, oh, I don't care about looks. I'm like, yeah, right, sure. Oh, no, I got some flattened. Remember when his girlfriend said that? Yeah. That's the same girl. Okay. S since since you're the only couple here, right? Is it, is it? Is it disgusting when the, your significant other eats the same thing you do? Meaning, remember George had a peach and he had a pit? That's the same girl you're talking about where she's like, oh, looks don't matter to me. So they were in a diner and he's eating, he just finished eating a peach. And he he and he and took out the pit from his mouth. And she took the pit and put it in her mouth and started like sucking the juices and everything. Is that nasty? I like how Dustin shaves his body hair. No bad breath. Okay, short, clean beard. He works out and has to believe in God. Hey, there you go. There you go. That's 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 good. So far, I have all those. I don't necessarily have to shave my body here because I don't I'm not that hairy. I do have hair on my body, yes. But it's not like Robin Williams like Sasquatch kind of thing. No, I don't have that. Thank God. But I should maintain more because I can tell like my right shoulder is like a little bit hairier than my left for some reason. Damn, I want to date Dustin too. <laughs> I'm gonna wear nothing but velvet. There you go. Wear wear nothing but like a like a tie. <laughs> I'm sure she'll like that. That was sick. Uh, I'll share Oscar. There you go. There you go, Oscar. Go to Mississippi and uh, have fun. <laughs> I mean, I have a few things going for me, but let's see. I'm in shape. 
I have nice hair. I'm, I'm handsome. Um, smart, strong, in all aspects. Uh, I'm kind of funny, I guess. <laughs> um, I do love God, of course. I'm a man of God. Um, I don't take any bullshit from anyone, so... Yeah. That's the New Yorker in me. What else? Oh, I can cook! Oh, I can fucking cook! Woo! I can cook. I don't care that I'm boastful. I can cook a fucking steak. Believe me, I can cook a fucking steak. If you don't like steak, I'll cook you a steak that'll, that'll make you just go like, Oh my god, like, wow. <laughs> no disrespect to vegetarians, but listen. I love fruit and vegetables, right? Nah, let me be honest. I love fruit, right? I love a good sweet orange. I love a good banana. I love a good ripe pineapple, right? You know, that crispy apple, too, is a... Right? I love that. I could eat that all day, every day. But there's no better feeling of, of biting into a good piece of fucking beef or meat. Like, you... And that smell, too. Like, it's, 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 a, it's an experience. You go to a steakhouse, right? You can, let me get a fucking a sirloin, medium, right? And then you hear, like you hear it, like oh, it's being cooked, right? And then, and then you see it on the grill, right? And it's like, it's like the fire coming up from hell, and just and just cooking that meat all, it looks all juicy and tender. And then you you smell the smoke, like mmm, right? It's an experience. And then, and then. You get the steak. Cut the motherfucker open. Take a piece. Bite into it. Oh, you'll it's just like a like a mouth gasm. <laughs> I guess we want to call it that. You you eat a good piece of beef, like bacon, all oh, bacon to like bacon, steak, cheeseburgers, whatever, right? That that, that will completely make you not vegetarian I remember I went vegan for two weeks a few years ago and I lasted just just that much two weeks two weeks two weeks two weeks <laughs> where's that from um, yeah I hated I hated being a vegan hated it fucking hated it Because for one thing, I was always hungry. I lost a lot of weight. I didn't feel good. And everything was expensive. I get Breach to shave my back a little bit, TMI, but hey, that's how we do it. Hey, that's, that's how couples do. That's how couples do. I love steak, right? Right? I feel you're talking dirty to me right now, right? <laughs> I'm a meat eater. Vegetarians are missing. They're missing out. They're missing out. They just are. They just... I don't understand this. Like, listen, I get you want to protect animals. Listen, I... It's weird. I, I don't... I don't want any harm to come to an animal. Right to rabbits or cats or dogs or or cows or, or or fish or anything, right? Except for insects. Fuck them. I would never kill a rabbit or a chicken for food, like with my hands, or even with even with the, with a bow or or gun, right? People, some people go hunting. I can't do that. I really, I really can't. Unless the animal's trying to kill me, that's different. But for food, no. Unless, well, unless it, we're in a situation where I, I, we're in survival mode and like, hey, there's nothing to eat except for deer, so you have to shoot and kill it. Okay, fine. But other than that, I don't want to kill animals. But in the other, on the other hand, I fucking love fried chicken. I love alligator. I love beef. I love cheeseburgers. I love bacon. I love ham. I love all that shit. 
I cannot not be a veg. No, I cannot not be someone who doesn't like meat. I just can't. I want to get a slasher toy next. Love the Super 7 line. What slasher toy? Which line are you talking about? Super 7? I know Super 7 line. But we're talking about like horror, 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 horror figures? God put the earth, put them on earth for a reason. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's just, we just got to be careful with them. First of all, be, be respectful to them. Meaning like, listen, I don't like how chickens are, are like forced into a cage. You know what I mean? And just... And, and they're in a slaughterhouse. I don't like that. I know that's that. I know that's where they're processed, but I just don't like it. Like if you kill them, hum if you kill them humanely, that's fine. You know, like quick, painless, that's okay. I I'm good with that. As long as they don't know they're being killed, okay. But if it's like, oh, let's 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 chop it to pieces, and it's still screaming, no, like, oh no, don't. I grew up going hunting with my dad, so it's normal to me. So do you have to chop it up and and? Take off the, the fur and the skin and everything, Brie. Yeah, meant for us to eat them. Yeah, I grew up... Oh, yeah. No, that villain you just fought. Oh, Slash. Oh, I have him. I have the figure. Slash Super 7. Dude, that figure is awesome. Awesome. I have four Super 7 figures from the Team and T line. I have Slash. I have Glow in the Dark Mutagen Man. I have Mausers. And I have Leatherhead. Because Leatherhead was so disappointing as a figure because he's, he, first of all, he's an alligator. Ad alligators, by nature, are like 20 times bigger than the turtle, right? But the figure's he's smaller than them. It makes no sense. So with the Super 7 figure, he's massive, dude. He's fucking massive. So that makes sense putting them with the older figures because now he's an actual alligator size. Take a picture of him, please. I will. Uh, tomorrow, I'll take a picture. Well, they're they're in the, they're in like wrapped, but I'll, I'll, I'll unwrap them and, and, and take a picture of them. No problem. Maybe you haven't been hungry enough. Bet you choke the shit out of chicken if you were hungry. <laughs> Should I choke my chicken? Well, I don't know. There were times where I see Scarlett Johansson. I I just got it. No, I'm kidding. Um, he taught me if you kill it, then you eat it, not to kill just because. Right, it's it's a waste of a life, basically. So, um, honestly, I would make weapons out of like its bones and like its antlers, like if you like a, like a stag. You know, if you shoot a stag, I, I'd make weapons out of it. I don't just, I wouldn't just put it up in the mantle. No, I'd fucking take his antlers and fucking make some Wolverine type fucking shit. That's just me though. I want to try rattlesnake. Yeah, I want to try snake too. Would love to see it. You, you, trust me, Dustin. You'll, you'll see it tomorrow. No, now, uh, no. My uncle always cleaned them unless it was fish. My dad taught me how to clean fish. Did you? Did you do that thing like that catfish girl, that infamous catfish girl? That we, I think we talked about this before, with the very, very beautiful catfish girl who someone said is like, oh, she's she's not feminine and blah blah blah. Did you do that? The catfishing, stick your arm in there like that. I wouldn't do that, sorry. I mean, I, I give her props for doing that. Although I do like eating catfish. I wonder how GX is doing. I haven't seen him in a long while. Hope he's okay. Mito, are you still here? No, I didn't do that. I always used to pull. Okay. Pull? Like, you, s you would spear them? Okay. I don't know if we talked about this, but... So, wh so what's your take on her? I know you're on her side. I'm sure we did talk about this, but... what ha Has that ever happened to you? 
was was there like a, a point in your life where another woman was like, "Oh, you're not you're not feminine enough because you hunt and and you go fishing and and you help your dad build this and like that's not what a woman does and everything." Like, you ever you ever talk to someone like that? Which is pretty fucking stupid though, because it's like as as a woman you can do whatever the fuck you want, but that's not. Are those masculine things that you're doing? Yes, but that doesn't make you masculine, you know? I've seen plenty of videos where women, they're chopping wood, and they're making furniture, and uh, hunting, all that stuff. And that's fucking awesome. I'd rather have a woman that can do all that than someone that, that would cry if their fucking nail breaks, you know? I love Hyperstone Heist over to Really, dude? Really? I, I don't like Hyperstone Heist. I don't because it's basically Turtles in Time light. I'm not saying it's a bad game, it's just for me Turtles in Time is a superior game. Yeah, but Rhea's sexy as hell, so she looks twice as hot doing that. Yeah, right, exactly. So, you know how some you know how some women are like, oh my god, he looks so hot chopping wood with his shirt off and all that stuff. That's how men are with women. Like, oh my god, she looks so hot using that chainsaw, cutting that tree. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. I grew up a tomboy. I grew up with boys. I'm feminine, but I know how to survive and fix things, and not be whiny. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, like a man, like a man can know how to how to knit a sweater. A man can know how to like crochet or something, or, or like make pottery and still be masculine. You know what I mean? Why do I smell fried chicken? That's what. Okay, steak I know how to cook. Burgers I can kind of know how to cook. I gotta, I, 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 gotta, I gotta learn how to cook a good burger. But once I perfect that, fried chicken is one of the things I need to learn how to cook. Same freaking thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. But the thing is, I know for a fact, women don't like feminine men. You know what I mean? Like, like if, if, like, like if both of you are sleeping, right? And then it's two in the morning and you hear something outside. And Bree is like, oh my God, what is that? And then, and then Dustin's like, I don't know. I'm scared. Bree, you go check it out. <laughs> you know, they don't like that. As they should. Because a man got to get a man up. That's what it is, man up. Like, don't worry, honey, I got this. Or even better, like, if I'm not back in one minute, get out the fucking shotgun. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oscar, real quick, do you, do you, um... We, we were just talking about that earlier. Do you prep, Oscar? Or do you know any preppers? Come on, Slash, come on.
There it is. I love that Team T Turtles in Time wallpaper is so badass. Yeah, I love that. I want to get a, um, what do you call it? Like a wall, uh, not scroll, like a wall, uh, it's like a, it's like a fabric material, right? Something that covers the wall like that. Fried chicken is pretty easy. Start with tenders. So good, homemade. I know, I bet. Damn it, Wraith, I'm hungry now. Sorry. Not like I used to. Have food for about a month only. Okay. Gotcha. No, I, I mentioned that because Dustin was mentioning something before how next month is going to be uh, just get stuff ready because something big is going to happen. Do I have to buy canned food? What, what else should I get, Dustin? You said buy, buy canned food and what else? Is it going to be like COVID again where I have to hoard like toilet paper and, and Lysol and all that shit? You know what I never understood? When you beat up a foot soldier, right? Because they're robots. How would it hurt them if I'm if I'm hitting them? You see how they look hurt? Like, oh, my stomach. Do they feel pain? Do foot soldiers feel pain? Ah, fellow little trucker, huh? Solar Eclipse on April 8th, supposed to knock out power for weeks. Buy batteries and camping still with propane. I have a gas stove though. That's gonna suck, damn. Do you guys have a generator? Oh, got me right in the face. Just be prepared to not be. Yeah, exactly. Breeze that does okay. I want, I always wanted to get a solar powered generator. That's maybe I should buy that. I've always wanted to get that because, like you say, you never know. Solar eclipse man. is that what takes us out? You no, know, in the end. Pictures are tough, dude. Here we go. Oh, shit. This is an historic event, never this big. Okay, rem remind me to DM me the, that, that, that video. You said you have video information on that. Please DM me that. So I heard they're working on an animated rated R Venom movie by Seth Rogen. Seem and I know sounds bad because Seth and he's had success with uh, the boys in Invincible and the new team. He, he, what do you mean? Well, he created the boys? I thought it was the dude from Supernatural who, who created that. Every, uh, every National Guard is on alert. 
I want to get the figures of these two. I know they have figures of uh, Pirate, Bebop, and Rocksteady. Say your prayers, Toidles. Hey Dustin, do you have the Ninja Turtles uh trading cards from 1988? The, you know what I'm talking about the yellow one, series one. I want to I want to get the whole collection set. I used to have that. As a matter of fact, there's a piece of furniture in my apartment that has the old stickers I had when I was a kid. There you go. No, is it expensive? I don't think it is. His production team. Okay, gotcha. Total clips happen all the time. Mostly go over the ocean. Not worried. So we're getting an already Venom animated movie, but they didn't want to take risks and do it live action. I mean, they already do the live action one, so. Because they're making Venom 3 now. An already Venom animated movie. That could be something. But if I'm wrong, Dustin, you won't be capable of telling me you told me so. Just know I'll be laughing while sipping on whiskey in the dark. <laughs> no AC and super is upon us. And supper. No AC is going to suck. Oh, man. Summer is upon us. Yeah. Yeah, Oscar, I'm just worried about my son going through this. I don't want him being scared. Right. I get you. I hope I'm wrong. But they're not all rated. Hmm. I was like, supper? <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with supper? And, I, and that's the thing, too, because summer is approaching. It's going to be here in uh, three months. Wait. Yeah, three months. And uh, man, I hate fucking summer so much. I hate the summer. Shelly, you did me. Man, I hate... Yeah, I know. Living in the south summertime is brutal. What's the hottest temperature you've ever experienced down there? What's your top favorite classic 90s Disney animated films? Uh, top five. Number one, Aladdin. Number two, Lion King. Number three... No, no, wait. Number, th number two is Mulan. Number three, Lion King. Number four... Um... You know, I gotta be honest, I've never really fully seen Beauty and the Beast. Same thing with Pocahontas. Hunchback I've seen, it was alright. Um, but Mulan was so fucking good, dude. Oh, Tarzan! Definitely Tarzan, number four. That would be number five. I mean, Tarzan was great. Plus, soundtrack by Phil Collins. Can't go wrong with that, man. Phil Collins is the man. Yes. I got a rechargeable camping fan. I hate the heat. Yeah. I, oh well, man, when I, in the summer when it gets hot, I turn on AC and I have the fan on. Because the AC just cools the room. I need to feel like a breeze on me. So I have both the fan and the AC on. So it's, oh, it feels good. 104 there. The hottest I've ever it was ever been here was 110 degrees 110 I remember that day that when I had to go out for the store for something fuck no
Mine is Aladdin, a Lion King. They're tied for number one. Then Hercules. Oh, yeah, Hercules. Hercules would be number five. Hercules number five. Thanks for reminding me. Goofy Movie and Tarzan. Goofy Movie's pretty good. I like Goofy Movie. We keep our AC on a 60. Yup. I don't, I don't pull that bullshit where it's like, oh, it's 70. No, 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 no. It's going to be at the absolute fucking bottom. <laughs> if we could go to 50, I would put it at 50. Let me see something here. Uh, wow, I bet you couldn't breathe. Yeah, it was hard to breathe. That's one of the things I hate about summer because I have a problem with my lung. It collapsed when I was in high school. Ever since then, the humidity makes it worse. So you know how you used to wear a mask because of COVID? Now, do you remember when it was hot in summer and you had to wear the mask? That's how I feel during the summertime without a mask. It's hard to breathe when it's humid. If it's hot, it's one thing. When it's humid, it's another thing. I can't, I can't stand humidity at all. So I'm just checking something. Okay, so Dustin, that uh, Pirate Bebop and Rocksteady from Turtles in Time, those figures are about like 30, 40 bucks. Brand new. It's not bad. I want to get them. I, wanna, I feel like getting every single Turtles figure there is, but money, you know, money. The soundtrack for Goofy Movie is so good. Oh, Powerline? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's super human in Mississippi. It can't stand that shit. What about cold? What's the coldest you guys experienced there? Have you guys ever experienced snow? Crap. off where are you a fan of biker mice on mars oh uh, no i never really watched that to be honest um no my cousin was um i'm not even a fan of street sharks I, for some reason i don't get what, what the, the obsession of street fox uh, shark fox street sharks is all of a sudden, street sharks are like, oh, street sharks, street sharks. I don't, I never really watched it. Same with extreme dinosaurs. I watched more extreme dinosaurs than street sharks. But even then, I'm like, eh. Because to me, it all seemed like a pale comparison to turtles. See how big he is compared to the other turtles? Putting up his dukes. Look at that. Crawfish? He's throwing crawfish at me? I forgot Leatherhead's from the south. <laughs>
Bye bye. I'm playing 2K24 in hard mode. I'm getting better. I want to feel experience that gives me a challenge. I hear you. I remember I got the toys on my eighth birthday. That's why I got nostalgia for my bike runs from Mars. Around 10 degrees in the winter. 10 degrees? It has snowed, but it's more like sleet than actual snow. Yeah, the, la the last few months for snow is maybe one. Yeah, there was like one day of like actual snow. Oh my God, remember that live action dinosaur show where they were wearing costumes? Which one was that? Hell yeah, would love to check out Leatherface uh, Super uh, 7. I bet he looks... Oh, Leatherhead looks awesome, dude. Super 7. I was going to say, so what other toy lines did you collect uh, as a kid? I used to collect uh, Z-Bots. I'm still collecting Z-Bots. But I have to tone, tone down for now because, you know, money and stuff. But, oh, Z-Bots are so fucking cool. Uh, what else? Oh, um, Attack Pack, remember that? My Hot Wheels. I want to collect 80s Mad Balls, but they're so fucking pricey. So what I do now is get the Super... No, it's not Super 7, but it's... Uh, it's from so, some toy company that are re redoing them. And they look fucking badass. Mad Balls are so cool. It was around, it was an old 90s sitcom called Dinosaur. Oh, you mean that one? Yeah, of course I remember that, Dinosaurs. Oh man, that, that, was, that was pretty funny. Not the mama, yeah, that one. You know what's, you know what sucks about that show? And that sucks, but what's fucked up is that the last episode of that show was them all, was them dying. They all died because that's when the Ice Age ushered in. And it was just a very fucked up episode because basically how Earl was the head dinosaur, right? That was the protagonist. And he he did something that led to a chain of events where the entire ecosystem was fucked up. And then eventually the Ice Age came and it just they all died out. It was, it's, it was crazy. Power Rangers, the first season of them, Street Sharks, Mad Balls, Mighty Max, just a little bit of everything. Right. Power Rangers, I never got in. Well, I watched the first season, but never got the toys because I was growing out of toys then. But they looked awesome, though. You know what I want? I, sh I, I told you, right? The Voltron. Yeah, I messed up that uh, ending. That that Voltron I want is $700. That Voltron is my holy grail of modern toys. I want that Voltron. I also want the new Thundercats Lair, but that's... Oh, man, that's something. The baby was going to happen to mommy. Yeah. I was like, damn, that's terrible. Yeah. What's going to happen? And they, they just looked at him like, well, dad was like, I don't know. But we'll make it somehow. We always do. It's not like dinosaurs are just one day going to disappear. Right? <laughs> I was like, holy shit. That's crazy. Talking Sharks is making get baby shark song in, in my head <laughs> baby shark yeah the, oh they're doing did you know that dustin they're having a a reissue or remake of um street shark toys by the way this is the future is that supposed to be manhattan in 2030 or something i like the name of the level neon night riders i gotta use that too neon night riders Oh, so wh who's your favorite uh, Team and T villain, uh, Dustin? Mine would be Slash.
I heard that. Uh, should I open my reissue Team and T toys or leave them packaged? I love Slash too. Um, do you have the originals though, like the the nineteen eighties toys, or no? If you don't have them, keep them in the in the package. If you do have them, no wait. If you have them, keep them in the package. If you don't have them, open them up. Freaky, freaking uh, badass looking. Yeah, I have a couple. Okay, which which one is your one of your favorite uh, figures? So one of my favorite team and T figures was of course Slash, Scale Tail, Mutagen Man. Um, who else? Yeah, Mutagen Man was so badass. You put water in him and everything. Oh, uh, Pizza Face. Who else? I know, I know I'm missing something. I, I just... Wingnut is awesome. I like Wingnut. Pretty much all of them. Are there a couple... Are you, are you looking for a certain figure? Uh, I do have all the cave turtles with the dinosaurs. They're not uh, complete though, but... It does look awesome. Yeah, they're they are all good. Yeah, but which ones do you are you are you missing any of them? Let me go back to Donatello. All right, I think I'm gonna stop after I beat this game. I really would like a one fourth scale of the cartoon version of the the turtles next. What do you mean? The cartoon versions. Oh, is that the new ones that came out? Like maybe like a few months ago. Oh, I'll, I'll, okay. My top. Here's my top toy lines. Right. Number one. It's tie though. Would be Ninja Turtles, and the real Ghostbusters. Oh, I just bought the Ghostbusters house last year. Beautiful. The house. Uh, the headquarters, with the box. It had to be with the box because I had so many memories. With that that box just just looking at that box just brings me back to, to my childhood so I, I needed the box desperately needed the box uh thundercats and what else uh, thundercats and what else what else i'm trying to think early childhood later childhood was Oh, Batman Returns, the Batman line, right? The first Batman line with the Joker and everything, like from the movie. And then Batman Returns. Aliens. Aliens. Oh, my God. Aliens and Predator. I almost have the whole... The color. I need more Predators, though, but I need just a little bit more Aliens. Here's one thing. I know Oscar. If Oscar's still here, he, he can contest to this. How much was that one in the box? Which one? The, the Ghostbusters headquarters. Oh, you know what a surprisingly good animated movie is? Batman vs. TMT. I saw most of it, not all of it. It was pretty good, Doge. I liked it. Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. 21100. That one um, was 400. I didn't, I didn't want to spend that much. But do you know how rare that is? To have it with the box in good condition? It, it's... Hold on, let me see if I can... Uh, my purse. Because I got it from eBay. Um, let me see. Let me 
yeah. It's like for something. No, never mind. 500. Oops. But I gotta be honest, the box was an almost was in excellent condition. There's some flaws there. The, the the headquarters itself was like brand new. It looked like someone just opened it and just put it on display and then that was it. It wasn't played with. It was that it was that uh, well kept. See, I'm looking at eBay now. See, ev everyone wants like 300 for the playset, right? Look! Look at this now. 650 with the box. That box looks pretty good. Yeah, just the, the box has to be with it, man. It's just the memories. It's the memories, man. But I don't have it displayed. They're they're still in the the package box it came in. I'm not I'm not taking it out until I have my my house. I could easily got a firehouse for like 40, 40 bucks, but I needed that box, dude. Damn! Someone's selling a brand new one for like ten grand. No, it's not worth ten grand. No, you got it graded and everything. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not paying that fucking much. Where do you have it displayed at? Do you have a game room or no? I don't have anything. Everything's in my room, my apartment because I have an apartment. How else? I don't blame you. Yeah. So my my here's the thing too. My room collects dust a lot, so I have to dust often, and I, I hate the fact that I have to put everything I would hate the fact that I have to put everything on display and then dust every single fucking day like that's it'll be lunacy not, not to mention that in the apartment building there were instances where water leaked from the ceiling and so I'll, I'm so terrified that something might happen like some water might come down and push and just you know I don't I don't want that which is why I put my Zelda stuff in the um, in like a like a bin, right? Like a plastic bin. Also, my my headquarters came with the with the what do you call it the the slime. That's almost always never included, and there was still slime in there too. I don't think there was a ghost in there, but that, that was crazy that I had that slime. That slime itself, that slime by itself is like two or three hundred dollars. So I got a pretty good deal, to be honest. Sealed slime, you see? Yeah. This guy's asking for like eight hundred. And that's from Canada. Sorry, I'm just looking at more Ghostbusters houses. I do have an Ecto-1, but it's... I have two Ecto-1s. I have one that's, uh... What do you call it? It's the reissue one, so... And I do have... A TMNT blimp, but it's a reissue blimp. I don't have the original blimp. Yeah, we live in a three-bedroom apartment. Okay. Well, how many floors is your apartment building? Man, I used to have... I used to love the Ghostbusters toys. I don't have anything from them. Really? Damn, dude. Maybe you might get one if you go to... Uh, maybe I might have something for you if you go to the Richapalooza in October.
I hope you get started, dude. Oh, Battle Beasts. I, I never really owned Battle Beasts as a kid, but my friend had it. Had some, and I love that line. And I'm collecting Battle Beasts now. I'm almost done with this game. I'm almost done with this game. One more level. Three floors, okay. My building, six floors. Also, I'm terrified by fires. If there's a fire, shit, dude. I don't know. Other than my, my you know, my cats, um, I don't know what else would I take from the from the apartment, like. I'm like I should I should save the Panasonic Q. No, no. How about that toy I had when I was eight? No, no. How about the, the, my my collection of this? It's like. I'll <sighs> oh, piss off. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. I never knew I could hit the ball back. That's crazy. that Voltron man I always think about that Voltron $700 though off. I thought about that before too. A uh, shell shock three, two, one, game over. Taekwondo fighters. Do you remember karate figure fighters? No, I never. What? Is, what is that? Yeah, I would do that back then too. I used uh, Mickey, even though my favorite Leo was. Uh, I always use Mikey in that game. In this game?
I hit the fallback. Gotcha. You shell hedge are dead. I want to. I want to. Oh, I want to know if there's a toy of that thing. See that pink, whatever pink spaceship he has. I like that. Oh crap. Oh, crap. How did I miss that bullshit? Dude, he's getting on my fucking nerve. There you go. Die. It's like Rock'em Sock'em um, robots, but with karate. Oh no, I don't. I've never seen that. Ever played Taekwondo fighters? Nope. Rock'em Sock'em, my toys in my childhood. I played Rock and Sock'em once. Once. But it was never something I... I was like, I, this is part of my childhood. But the aliens... Oh, get this, Dustin. I have a alien queen from Mecca. That, that thing looks beautiful. I don't have it with me now, but it, Big Bad Toys has it. Because it's in the... What do you call it? Um, pile of loot or whatever. So, oh my god. I can't wait to have that thing. Oh, crap. Oh, bullshit, he didn't get me. Oh, 
come on, come on, come on. Really? Ah, oh, look at that. Game's over. Does it get very overwhelming with people are exclusive? No, no. It's it's not like um it, it so I was there all day, so there's two days, Saturday and Sunday. It's never it's never packed like you know, people to people. Are there a lot of people there? Yes. But it's never overwhelming. I guarantee you that. You know it's not like Times Square, trust me. Now, if you go to Comic-Con, like San Diego or New York Comic-Con, yeah, it's going to get pretty overwhelming. I've been to Comic-Con a few times in New York. And I, I don't like being around crowded people. That's funny because I live in New York City. Um, what? That's it? There's no credits or something? Weren't, wasn't there credits in this? I don't get it. Oh, I can rewind. I didn't know that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I played a little of this and that's it. Yeah, Comic Con. Yeah, I, I went to Comic Con a few times and it was in. Yeah. Too much. Rich Blues is not like that. I just have bad anxiety being around a lot of people. No, no. It, I guarantee you, there won't be a sea of people there or anything like that. There, there won't be anything like that. I mean, you've seen the videos, right? Where it's like, like Rich for Rick at Comic Con. Like that's how it gets. That's it. People just walking around, but it's never a sea of people there. Never. Like, oh my god, I'm crowd. It's too crowded. Or, nope. It never feels that way. I hear you, Dustin. Don't like people. And even I'll say it's not bad. Yeah. Oscar's the only one here that's been there. You'll be too excited looking for what you want to buy. Exactly. You'll be hanging out with us, you know, talking, shooting the shit. And you'll be look busy looking, as Oscar says, for what things you want. Games. Because you're going to be like, oh, my God, look at that. That that table has this. Oh, my God, that table has that. Oh, I, I, I remember this. That's, that's exactly what's going to happen. Not to mention... Meeting Tim and Jay and, and like Melvor and Rob and Billy and all of them. Like you, you're not going to be focused on that. Trust me. Even if it is like that. Yeah. And apparently Oscar says he wants to take us to a barbecue. Hmm. 150 pounds. Oh, they're 15. I didn't know that. Oh, it makes sense. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant If y'all would have woken up before 5 p.m., we could have last time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Seeing this in the arcade for the first time, I was like, oh my god, look at those graphics.
poor April. That's our building on the butt's on fire. <laughs> times I'm sure yes absolutely I'm I'm go I'm down to going to Rich Blues I'm gonna check it out that'll be cool Mito that'll be cool you have a good time if my kid ever doesn't want to go I'll party like that but I love that he likes to go to yeah of course I bet he I bet he has a great time going to Rich Blues I got all those toys and video games there man I do want to enter a tournament though, but it has to be a game I'm, I'm good at though. I'm not going to go to like... This should be a tournament for this. Remember how popular this was at the skating rink? Yeah, this arcade was like everywhere. Yeah, he's all about the anime. Oh, what's his favorite anime? Do it, Mito. Cash is king, by the way. Get better deals and tax free. Yup. I've been in a tournament for Ultimate Four Come at Three. Depends what he has for tournament uh, games for tournaments. Sometimes it changes every every year. Got OG Goku uh, to sign his shirt and toy for for him. Nice. I forgot that he was there. Now One Punch, whatever that series is. Oh, One Punch Man or something? It's a good choice. Titan a good choice. Right, I'll do the next level is the last level because I'm getting kinda tired. Don't worry guys, we have all week to fucking hang out. Plus I'm gonna be streaming South Park again tomorrow very early, like at five or six. Oh man. Say your prayers, Toidles. Say your prayers, Toidles. I've never beaten this game in the arcade. I probably got up to like um, the highway. That was it. But come on, remember this was like a quarter, a quarter each play. So could, I couldn't spend like ten dollars on this. I think the most I spent was like five or six. And back then I was like, oh, I can't, I can't spend that much money. I hope Jay brings Pete Weller, Weller, Weller Cup. Oh hell yeah. 
and one Halo voice actor. But he's not really a, a you know Halo guy, so I doubt he'll bring in Halo Halo actor. That'll be cool though. I'll get a Halo game and have him sign it. Oscar, is there, is there a steel book of the Master Chief collection? Is this like fucking hard or something? Because it's like... I don't remember him being this difficult. I think I might buy a 360 when I'm, when I'm down there. Because that's the only way to play all these other games. Is he bringing someone from TNT too? Yeah. Yeah. He said, remember he said, well, he's, it's not guaranteed, but he's talking to uh, Ernie, Ernie Reyes Jr. So, uh, well, that's for Houston. I, I'm not sure what he's, if he's going to come back for, for the one in October. I, I hope he does. But... Oh, he does? Shit. I'm fucking bringing a lot of shit from the side. Actually, I can't because it's stupid airport. Bumped I missed out on the Resident Evil Vampire Chick to sign my game. Yeah, I, saw, I have a picture of her, I think. I didn't take a picture with her, but... He should get the, the voice of Master Chief. That would be fucking awesome, right? Tim Kitchrell was cool as fuck. Not that I'm aware of. No Steelbook. Damn, that sucks. Xbox One plays a ton of... What about original Xbox games? Because I want something that plays every single Xbox game ever. And I know Xbox Series S doesn't do that. Because there's only certain Xbox games. Because here's the thing, Oscar. I want to get... I want to get the Warriors. I want to get the Thing. But the, but the problem is, is that those are original Xbox games. And... Um, I checked the list, they're not compatible to the Series X. If you get 360, get the Elite models much more reliable. Okay, cool. Appreciate that, the Elite models. Have you seen the movie Kid Gets Bit by Spider and Was Dying? His friend saved them by becoming a vampire? No, what movie is that? Did he play Raphael? Yes, he did in the first movie. I would, uh, had to... I would head to movies to play X-Men vs. Street Fighter back in the day. Yeah, X-Men vs. Street Fighter was fun. You know what's dope? The Spider-Man arcade game. Remember that? You get to be Spider-Man, Namer, and like uh, two other characters I forget. And the first boss was like a giant Venom. And you had to go on, on the scaffolding of, on the side of a building to fight him. I would love to play that game again. That's not on the Xbox Live or anything? Where's Shredder? Shredder should be like <laughs> on a TV in the background. What can I say? Oh, there he is. That completely missed all of them, I suck. For those OG Xbox games, you may have to get... Yeah. It's just for that. And then everything else, 360 and Xbox One games, I'll just play on the, on the Xbox Series X. 
Do you know if this Xbox Series X play every single 360 game? For real, wait, really? Uh, you girl, you wait, we girl, you met her. That's cool. Um, that the Halo Green OG Xbox so so nice. Yeah, the one you want, right? But I want something that's HD though. That's not HD, sadly. 360 is HD, so I'm good with that. So if that's the case, I'll get a limited edition 360, but it has to be an elite, right? I have to check it out tomorrow. Yes, or the Spider-Man Maximum Carnage. Yeah, Spider-Man Maximum Carnage is so dope. Oh, that is such bullshit, dude. No, no, no. You see that? Look. There you go. I had that and, it, and it, I touched this pizza, but it didn't give me the, the energy. That was bullshit. You guys do know that this is online co-op, so one day we gotta play this. <laughs> they were like waiting upstairs, like, there they are, let's, let's go, like, we don't have time to go to the stairs. They're leaving now, like, just jump out the window. <laughs> yeah, I have to get a 360. And I had one, but I sold it a, a long time ago, but I don't mind buying another one. But if I'm going to buy a 360, I'm going to buy, like, a limited edition one. After this boss, I'm out of here. play all of them oh shit there's only a few xbox 360 games i want to get so see i wouldn't have that problem if fucking it was available on xbox live but it's not No, Arnold tonight, or did he already put the boogie down now? I have no idea what you're talking about. The R2D2 XRC City is badass. Mix his beeping noises when you turn it on. This trace says, help me, Obi-Wan, can Obi give my only help. Really? Whoa. I remember seeing that in in the stores back in the day. Had I known it would be that rare, I'd probably get it.
Oh, there it is. And he's out of here. You're not using all. Oh. Um. Put that cookie down. Come on. <laughs> Put... <laughs> What's the matter? See how you get you pushing too many pencils? Hey, Sully. You remember when I said I'll kill you last? Yeah, yeah, Major. I lied. <laughs> I love Commando. Commando is so fucking good. Commando's absolutely S tier on a movie. And he was in top physical shape too. Damn, and fucking Arnold was just crazy jack in that movie. I wish I could get like that. I have to look at the 360 though, because uh, yeah, it sucks that I can't that Xbox Series X can't play all that. But hmm. I got a lot of work to do in Retro Palooza, so I gotta look for 360. I gotta look for games. Um, John Claw Bloodsport. Yeah, that's a good one. Jet Li movies is up to me, yeah. Jet Li is fucking one of the best. OG Xbox Fun Party Games is Fusion Frenzy. Fusion Frenzy, love that game. Xbox Mario Party. Oh, okay. Thanks, Oscar. So I played a little bit of Halo Infinite campaign the other day. A little bit. I like I like it so far. And I played oh, I've always playing the multiplayer. Pretty fun, but I gotta get used to that. The thing is, once you go to Timefall 2, it's hard to go back to any other first-person shooter. It, it really, it really. Timefall 2 is just so fucking masterful, dude. I wish I had money, dude. Like. Billionaire or millionaire money, I would so fund a fucking video game company and not make it woke at all. That would be my, that would be in the fucking the resume. If you if you're woke or you fucking follow these agendas, then don't work for me. Seriously, if you want to make games that are about good stories and good gameplay, and nothing about agenda and all this bullshit, by all means come work for me. Still haven't even gotten past the first few levels in Halo Infinite. Didn't care for it. Reach was the best to me. Okay. Reach was for 360, right? Oh, well, it's remastered in, in, the, in the Master Chief collection, right? They're all remastered in that one, right? Like 4K, 60 frames per second and all that shit. They should really remake the first one, man. Did you, Oscar, did you ever read the Halo books? I know my friends used to love the Halo books. They expect us to play games on books alone. Yep. I like Halo 3 campaign mode, not the multiplayer disc. 
Most of them, the books are badass. Hmm. Oh, shell shot. Wow, that was fast. Come and get him, gel brain. <laughs> I got arrested on query just now. Uh oh. Okay, before I go, I gotta talk about this. What the hell is happening with with Puffy or P Diddy, whatever? Is is this is this real? Like, he, they really caught him with all that stuff? They raided his homes and everything, and then he's flying to Bermuda or some shit like that. What is going on with him? Yeah, they caught the, his private jet on camera. Wow. Celebrities, I swear. It's funny how he, he, he endorsed uh, our current president, too. That makes fucking sense. What did he do? Uh, allegedly, he was involved in uh, trafficking humans for pleasure. And multiple women came forth saying that, yeah, he did this to me, he did that to me. And, uh, yeah. And the government or the authorities raided his, his homes in Florida and California. It's fucking crazy, dude. Like all celebrities. Yup. The Hollywood elites. Yeah, exactly. As I said before, Dustin, not surprisingly, Puffy uh, endorsed our current president, so... Makes sense, right? All those, all those motherfuckers gotta, gotta, gotta pay. All those motherfuckers. I don't care if you're Puffy or Jay- I heard Jay-Z's next, too. Uh, Jay-Z, Puffy, and fucking Tom Hanks. I don't care who you are. You gotta fucking pay. Keep the time. Thank you. By the way, I did replay this in my channel. I recorded me playing 
these games. So it's on my channel if you want to look at it. Just go under uh, Team NT. It should be there. I don't get it. You make all that money. Why not buy a baddest hooker? Yeah, you can basically get any woman you want if you're that rich. And you have to resort to being a fucking disgusting piece of crap. That's what, that's what I don't get, dude. Hold on. How do you pause this? I guess you can't pause it. Oh, there it is. They are puppets for the Illuminatis. You wonder why the kids are still missing them out. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't see. I, I'm a simple dude. I just want my wife and that's it. I'm meaning I want my future wife. That's it. That's all I want. I don't want some disgusting, sadistic fucking woman or anything like that because I don't have disgusting and sadistic desires. I don't. I, if I'm going to do something, I'll be with my wife. That's it. I don't need to resort to trafficking people or doing this and that. Like, come on, dude. This is this is what people don't understand. It's it's the, the like you said, it's the uh, s certain uh, elitism of certain celebrities or um, people that, that do these things. Because think about it. Trafficking people, right? That That takes a lot of money. Nobody like us can afford that because each of these people are like 10, 15, 20 grand per person or something like that, right? No one can, no one like us can afford it. But you know who can? People worth millions upon millions of dollars. And that's their clientele. I don't know what it is about money that is like, hey, I can do whatever I want. Maybe I can just buy a human and just see how it feels like that. How, how the fuck did you get like that? This is why you need Jesus in your life. Without some sort of guidance, spiritual guidance, you're you're lost. You know I want them to release the Simpsons Arcade. What I wouldn't get for that. Or Simpsons Collection. There you go. All right. All right. I think I'm going to call it a night. That's it. Let's move it. I owe you one. Oh, and I got a kiss from April. That's awesome. Let's get to that secret factory. Let me kill these guys first, and then I'm out of here. All right, anyways, you guys have been awesome, as always. I'll be here tomorrow, so I'm going to stream South Park very early tomorrow. So that'll be Chapter 3. Hopefully, I get to win this time. And again, I'll be streaming again. Uh, Big Apple 3 a.m. 
regular time. Uh, I'll be finishing the quarry. Hopefully finish the quarry. I don't know. Uh, let's see if that happens. What the hell? I didn't know it was a bomb there. I don't trust anyone from Hollywood. Uh, yeah, I don't. I really don't. I used to look up to people in Hollywood, but... You have to earn my trust, basically. But anyways, you guys have been awesome. As always, um, stay frosty, give them hell, and Godspeed. Wraith out.